open air preaching is absolutely vital to the fulfilling of the Great Commission right from the very beginning. And the church we see in the book of Acts, Christians are preaching on open air, but the Reformation began through open air preaching. John Wycliffe, the professor of Oxford University, he was the greatest professor of the greatest university of the world at that time. He translated the Bible into English and he mobilized the Lollards. Now the Lollards were these lay preachers, these poor country preachers who went and read and preached and sang the scriptures in English in the marketplace of England. And so the Lollards did the fieldwork for the Reformation. And for this reason, John Wycliffe's called the morning star of the Reformation. Of course, Martin Luther preached outdoors. John Calvin mobilized the people to preach outdoors. One of the greatest evangelists of the Reformation was William Farrell. Guillemin Farrell was a French-speaking Swiss evangelist who won Basel to Christ, he won Neuchâtel to Christ, and he won Geneva to Christ through open-air preaching. What he would do was, Farrell was a great debater. He was a fiery, red-headed, tough evangelist who would get into the marketplace and he would preach the gospel until the bishop sent soldiers to shut him down. And then he would challenge the bishop to a debate. And the people would always think this is a good idea. And they would debate over Reformation doctrines versus paper superstitions. And Pharrell always won the debate. And the people would be challenged, vote. What do you want? Do you want to stay in papal ignorance and superstition or do you want to vote for the Reformation? And the people would overwhelmingly vote for the Reformation and they'd throw out the bishop and the uh, Catholic hierarchy. And William Pharrell would go up into the bishop's pulpit and start to proclaim the doctrines of grace from the beginning. And that's how Geneva was won to Christ. And it was field preachers like Pharrell who laid the groundwork for great reformers like John Calvin to come in and lay it further. Now, people like Calvin were also going into prisons, seeking to win prisoners to Christ in the prisons. He was training and mobilizing evangelists. John Calvin, in his academy, trained hundreds of evangelists and missionaries. He sent out culminatively thousands of missionaries and evangelists who, through open-air preaching, people like Pierre Verrette, who won tens of thousands of Frenchmen to Christ, they planted over 2,600 Reformed churches in France in the lifetime of John Calvin, just in the 26 years that he was the pastor of Geneva. So how people can say that open air and outdoor preaching doesn't apply to reformers, obviously is ignorance of our Reformation history.